Hi everyone, it's Martin here. So this will be a short video on how to integrate Nutanix with Citrix Director. So the first thing you want to do is create a user in Nutanix. So I already log into the portal here. So when you click on the wheel on the top right, you select user management and you can click on add user. You need to fill in all the fields here. And do not select either user admin or cluster admin. This needs to be cleared out and hit save. So I already created that in my case. And you can see it in here. I have a user called Citrix Test Director. If you edit that one, you can see all the fields is filled out as I told you before. So we hit close. And we switch over to the virtual server running Citrix Director. So I downloaded the Nutanix Director plugin from the support portal. Um, and you need to do that as well. And remember to download it in the correct version. So if I double click the MSI installer, you can see the version that this plugin is for. And it's 7.13. And that's the one I'm running in my lab. I'm going to hit next to continue. I'm going to read all the Euler, of course. Hit I accept and click next again. The plugin will automatically discover which folder your director is installed in and choose the same for the Nutanix installation. So hit next again and click on install. This will do an IS reset so the website will be taken down in and started up again. So if you have any users connecting to the Citrix director you need to notify them in, in advance so they know that there will be an outage. So the installation is already complete. You can now click Add Connection to set up your Nutanix configuration. You can put in the IP address of either your CVM if you're running a single cluster or your um, virtual IP address for the cluster. Put in the username as created before and the password and click Add. You can see the connection is successfully added. If you go up under update or remove connections, you can also see them and you can have more in here if you need to. If we just jump back to the prism for just a short bit, if you click on the top left on the cluster name, you can see the cluster virtual IP address as I used in this setup. This is the shared IP address for the cluster. So if you have more nodes, you'll want to use this IP address for the integration with the director. So go back again and click on done. This will do another IIS reset. And this completes the installation. So you can just hit finish here. If we just go to studio for a bit, just to see what I have in my small lab environment. If we take a look at my machine catalog, I only have one server in there at the moment. It's called silo01, that's XA01. And it's running and it is registered as well. So I can now go to the director homepage. Login as administrator or a user with the same access. I can go to filters, machines, and all machines. I can then click on the server OS machines. Since this is an setup server, not as a desktop, I can click on the machine name as we saw it before. This will load all the details for your server. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you will see the integration with Nutanix. So we have IOPS, we have bandwidth and average disk latency. So as you can see on these uh, statistics, I haven't been using my machine that much. It's only running as a demo at the moment. 
but it shows the integration quite nicely anyway. So this concludes this video. Next up will be integration with Studio so we can do machine creation services. So stay tuned for that one.